one. Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find a value of line integral of a vector field, right? So they have given integral in this way. First of all, we will try to express it in its standard form. So this is equal to integration over C. This function can be expressed as a product dot product of two vector fields. Okay, so in this way, sine z i plus cos z j minus x y raised to one by three k dot product. Okay, with d x i plus d y j plus d z k. Okay, so I have expressed this integral as a product of uh, dot product of two functions. Okay, you can easily see. You know well how to take a dot product multiple of i into multiple of i. So sine z into dx we will have this one multiple of z into multiple of z. So cos z dy and the third term will be minus x y raised to one by three dz. So the first bracket is nothing but our f bar and second is nothing but dr bar. Okay, so this is the given integral and we have to find its value. So what will I do? Uh, first of all, we will try to find its parameterization. Okay. A parameterization, parameterization, let me mention parameterization of, of curve C is, curve C is, we will denote it by alpha, which is defined on. See here, they have clearly mentioned, okay, they have already expressed x, y, z in terms of theta, that is nothing but parameterization having limits, theta varies from 0 to 7 pi by 2. So here, obviously, alpha is defined on close interval. 0 comma 7 pi by 2 to r3 since codomain is r3 right defined as defined as we define that alpha in this way alpha of theta is equal to x but they have expressed x is equal to cos cube theta they have expressed x in terms of theta in this way so i should write cos cube theta what is value of y sin cube theta right and what is z theta so this is a parameterization of a given curve after that, we will find necessary things that means just like alpha dash of theta, f of alpha of theta, let us find those values. So we have space here, let us use. So alpha dash of theta. So you know well how to find derivative. Component wise derivative, derivative of cos cube. What is the derivative of x cube? 3x square. So similarly, its derivative will be 3 cos square theta, right? But by chain rule, again derivative of cos theta we have to take, which is minus sin theta. So I should write minus sin theta here. Next derivative of sin cube theta. Cube is there. So that's why its derivative will be 3 sin square theta. Let me write it here. 3 sin square theta. Again derivative of sin theta, which is cos theta. So we have to apply chain rule and we have to take the derivative of that function again. Next theta. Derivative of theta is 1. No need to say. So 1. After that, we will find out the value of f of alpha of theta. Let us find f of. Let me put the value of alpha of theta, which is cos cube theta, right? Sin cube theta, comma, theta. So now we are operating f on that bracket. Okay, so what is definition of f? Definition of f is this one. So let us use this definition. So which is equal to what we uh, write here sin z okay sin z what is our z theta so that's why i should write here sin theta okay comma next is cos z cos z that means i should write cos our z is theta next minus minus x y x into y this is our x this is our y so let us write here so cos cube theta into sin cube theta we have to take their product and again the power is raised to 1 by 3 raised to 1 by 3 okay so this is a f of alpha of theta so let me write it properly so we can write here sin theta comma cos theta minus what will happen that cube is there and raised to 1 by 3 so those two uh, indices will get cancelled to each other and we will have simply cos theta sin theta okay so this is value of f of alpha of theta so let us apply the definition of a line integral of vector field to find a value so therefore integration of f bar dr bar that means this thing we are going to find so which is equal to which is equal to integration limits are uh, 0 to 7 pi by 2 
since that C has parameterization alpha and which is defined on this close interval. So obviously I should take th these limits there getting. So definition says inner product of f of alpha of theta right comma alpha dash of theta and obviously I should write here d theta. So let us put the values 0 to 7 pi by 2 okay inner product of f of alpha of theta this one I should mention there. So sin theta comma cos theta comma minus cos theta into sin theta. So this is our f of alpha of theta comma I should write alpha dash of theta. What is our alpha, alpha dash of theta this one? So minus 3 cos square theta sin theta right. So yes I should start from this side okay since yes here alpha dash of theta let me write there minus 3 cos square theta sin theta okay comma 3 sin square theta cos theta comma 1. So this is our alpha dash of theta d theta. You know well how to find the value of inner product first component into first component plus second into second plus third into third. Let us uh, use this definition of inner product 7 pi by 2. Okay. Sin theta into this one. So we'll have minus cos square minus 3 cos square theta sin into sin sin square theta. Okay. Plus second component into second component. So we will have 3 sin square theta. Okay. Into cos theta into cos theta we will have cos square theta plus 1 into this one. So that means we'll have minus cos theta sin theta d theta. So by using definition of inner product we got this one. So what will happen now see these two terms are same just they have opposite signs. So they will get cancelled to each other okay these two terms will get cancelled and simply we will have minus cos theta sin theta. There is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further. So let us solve it further. Integration over c a bar dot dr bar this is equal to integration 0 to 7 pi by 2 what we have here these two terms uh, we have already cancelled so minus sign will come outside cos theta sin theta d theta okay so it is not required now let me remove yes so what will I do uh, to find the value of this integration first of all I will adjust 2 I will simply multiply and divide by 2 so we'll have minus 1 by 2 integration 7 pi by 2 okay so I am multiplying by 2, 2 sin theta cos theta. Simply I wrote sin theta first and then I wrote cos theta. So you are familiar with this formula. 2 sin theta cos theta, this is formula of sin 2 theta. So let me write it there. So minus 1 by 2, 0 to 7 pi by 2. So this is formula of sin 2 theta d theta minus 1 by 2. Let us take integration now. Integration of sin is minus cos. So let me mention here minus cos 2 theta. But whatever the multiple of theta we write in denominator. So I should write 2 here with limits 0 to 7 pi by 2. Okay. Yes. So what will happen that 1 by 2 is constant. We can take it outside. So 1 by 4. This minus minus plus. Right. So we have simply cos 2 theta with limits 0 to 7 pi by 2. Right. So after that what will happen. Uh, yes minus. Oh, sorry 1 by 4 I will put upper limit so it is cos if I put upper limit 7 pi by 2 that 2 2 will get cancelled to each other and we will have 7 pi minus if I put 0 you we will have cos 0. Do you know the value of cos 7 pi? Let me tell you the formula cos n pi is equal to minus 1 raised to n. So yes in this using this formula you can easily find its value. So what we have cos 7 pi that means minus 1 raised to 7 I suppose right 1 by 4 minus 1 raised to 7 cos 0 is 1 you know minus 1 raised to 7 is uh, yes it's minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so it will be minus 2 by 4 that means minus 1 by 2 so this is the required answer okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye.